What up guys? So today I want to talk about the most asked question that I have in my comment box on YouTube, Instagram, basically on all my platforms and that's how to make money off of YouTube. Um, it's a pretty vague question and there's a lot of answers and I can go into lots of detail but today I'm going to hit all the basics. Um, there's about three big ways to make money off YouTube and um, I'm gonna try to take you through it, guys. So, number one, first and foremost, when you start your YouTube channel, I'm sure your guys' goal is to get views. So the more views you guys get, the more revenue you guys can create. Um, but it's not only from, view, uh, from views. There's a lot of things that go into it as well, such as um, time watched, um, there's your CPM, and, uh, and that's what shows the value of your channel and how other advertisers would like to go and put advertisement on your channel. So the higher your CPM, the more your channel is worth, the more money you're gonna create. Um, for example, you get a million views, your CPM is low, you may only get $1,000 per million views. Your CPM is high, you could get $10,000 per million views. So it's all gonna be off the value of your channel. Um, so it's not necessarily how many views you have because there's people out there that may only get 20,000, 30,000 per view, um, per video, and they could be making more than someone getting a million dollars. I mean, a million views. So it's really off your CPM, your time watched. Those are the big drivers on your revenue. And if you don't know what CPM means, it means cash per milli, basically uh, cash per thousand. I, I believe it's like a Latin. So, uh, so yeah, not million, not uh, cash per million, cash per thousand. And um, that's the biggest driver off of how much revenue you're gonna create off of the amount of views you get. So that would be number one. So to make it plain and simple, to summarize is, the more views you can create and the more value your channel can create, the more people would want to advertise on your channel. So basically, you know, my channel is based originally off fitness. So other fitness brands or other fitness equipment may want to advertise on my channel. They pay YouTube, they see my channel creates value and more higher, uh, more fitness advertisements are going to be on my channel. You know, someone like Cali, <clears throat> he's doing cars. I'm trying to do cars. So cars may pay more than fitness because now you have dealerships that want to advertise on your channel. You got to think of your channel as a mini TV show. And if your TV show is a well-watched TV show, um, <clears throat> more people are, more advertising, more commercials are going to want to be on your show, you know? So such as, let's say Ford, they have lots of money. If Ford wants to advertise on your channel, then they're probably gonna pay much more than a small little supplement brand advertising on your channel. So they're gonna pay YouTube more and YouTube's gonna pay you more. And that's where the CPM comes into play. So that's, um, that's the main thing. When anyone creates a YouTube channel, you guys are trying to get views and you're trying to create value for your channel. Um, that's number one, that's number one guys. So. The main thing, you better create some dope content. You have to create dope content. Something that people want to watch, something that you're passionate about, something that's your lifestyle. You can't fake it, man. You can't just come on YouTube and be fake because uh, people are going to eventually see through that. Or you may hit for a little bit, but you're not going to last. So you guys got to come with the dope content so you guys can create some revenue and get some good advertisement on your channel. So that's number one. Um, <clears throat> number two is... Hopefully you can get some sponsorships, you know? Uh, let's say someone like me, I've done a sponsorship ads with uh, Manscaped, you know? And um, they pay me to put a commercial about them. Instead of Manscaped paying YouTube to do an advertise on someone else's channel, Manscaped came straight to the source, asked me to do an advertisement on my channel and paid me and, uh, and they pay me directly instead of paying YouTube, then YouTube paying me. 
So that's another way. And there's so many people out there that uh, are looking for those type of advertisements, man. It could be Manscaped. It could be, you know, toothbrush thing, like whitening your teeth. It could be a workout um, piece of equipment. It could be a supplement company. It could be whatever. There's um, tons of people out there that are looking for people to, uh, you know, share their product out there and advertise for them on their channel. Especially the bigger your platform gets, the more views you get, um, you're gonna have a lot more opportunity to get promotions and advertisement on your channel. But in my case, I pick and choose and I only pick advertisements that I believe in. I don't wanna be a sellout. And for me, I use Manscaped, man. I got tattoos. I like to have my uh, tats visible, shave the hair on my arms. You know, I actually use the product. I would have bought the product uh, even if they didn't advertise. So I only promote things that I truly believe in and that I back. Um, and for you guys, if it's about money, then you take everything. For me, it's not. You know, I gotta stay to my roots and advertise things that I actually believe in. So um, that would be number one and two, you know, right off the bat. You know, the more views you get, the more money you can make. Um, also, the more views you get, the more paid promotion you can make. So those are first and foremost. And if you wanna go a step further, which I have done and my team has done, we come and bring something to sell. And um, we advertise that on every single video. And that's definitely a lifestyle that you have to live because every product that I sell I believe in and I live that every single day. So we sell clothes, you know, number one, we sell clothes. You guys can see we have tons of clothes up here, past and present drops. And uh, every single day we <clears throat> try to look into the people that support us, our viewers and bring merch that you guys like, man. And you know, past drops, we have a good seller. We'll try to bring that up again, maybe the different colorway, but the same design. So, Number three would be, you know, having something to bring, having something to sell. And uh, we sell merch, man. And you're advertising your own merch. So you don't have to push someone else, create your own brand and uh, sell your own product, man. That's, that's the best way. Because then you're not um, only getting a small portion, you're getting the whole chunk. Whatever you sell, you're, you're, you're bringing, you're collecting all the dough. Where Manscaped Go sells a thousand uh, trimmers you only got what you were paid for to do that promotion, you know? But we go sell a thousand, a thousand shirts, man, we're collecting the profit on the whole thousand. But also, you only sell five shirts, you're only making the profit off of five shirts. So you gotta really believe in your brand and live your brand and your viewers are gonna know if you believe it or not because, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there or people that you know, may push supplements or clothing and they're not even wearing their own brand out there. You know, they're trying to be flashy, wear Gucci or whatever, trying to wear expensive stuff, but they're not. If I, if I was them and I was watching their channel and they have a brand and they're wearing Gucci and not their own brand, why would I want to support their own brand? They're not even rocking their own brand, you know? So you got to live by it. You have to be authentic, man. And you guys know every single day I'm rocking uh, my own brand, you know? Uh, so. Yeah, that's number three. And lastly, when you have your own product, since I work out, since day one, it's been my lifestyle for a lot, a lot of years, and I always took supplements, so we brought supplements into the picture, man. Um, we went from merch to supplements, man, and every supplement that I have, I take, I back, and I use every single day. You guys know I can't do anything without kicking it off with the dead game, you know? So, uh, so yeah, we sell subs, man. We got pre-workout, we have pump, we have aminos, we have creatine, um, we have test boosters, we have sleep aid. I mean, we have it all, man. So um, the more product that you have to sell, the more opportunity to make money. And um, the, less, the less things you have to sell, the less opportunities to make money. That's just how it works. And this third one of having product to sell is the hardest because you have to be willing to invest in yourself and invest in your brand and be willing to take a risk to lose money. Um, yeah, take a risk to lose money, you know? Not everything will hit. And uh, I've experienced it many times where we're just stuck with inventory, a shirt that didn't sell, a design that didn't sell, a product that didn't sell. And you have to be willing to take that loss and chalk it up and keep moving on. 
and um, not be scared to fail. And when you do see things that are selling, you gotta capitalize and maybe double down and uh, just just be willing to uh, to risk it, man. That, that's the name of the game of being an entrepreneur and owning your own business and, and the grind, man. That's just part of it. So, so yeah, guys, I hope that helped you guys out on how to make money off of YouTube. I'm definitely gonna get into depth of how to start a clothing brand, how to start a supplement brand, maybe how to look to get sponsorships uh, for YouTube, things like that. Maybe those will be other topics that we could talk about. Um, we plan on starting a podcast, you know, so make sure you stay tuned for the podcast and maybe that's where we'll, we'll come into these uh, topics because I don't normally just sit down and talk to the camera, but I wanna switch it up and it's a big question that I've been asked so many times is, you know, they, they don't even ask just in general on YouTube how to make money off YouTube. They just say, hey, what do you do for a living? And to me, it's self-explanatory, you know? We push content, we push merch, we, pu we push supplements. But um, I, thought, I thought I'd break it down to you guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of the warehouse just so you guys can see where we ship stuff out, some of the products and things like that that go behind the, uh, are behind the scenes and um, let you guys check that out. But I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Let's, let's go check it out. All right, a little bit behind the scenes. This is where we fulfill the orders. Um, right here, we got some of the supplements. We don't obviously have them all right here. These are just ready to pull. We have the things out there that we need. When it gets low, we restock the shelves. Um, you know, same with all the merch, man. We, uh, every single drop, we'll fill these bins up with all the new merch. So uh, the warehouse workers can be ready to pull them. They'll basically, let's say this, we'll get a large shirt right here. We'll pull it, we'll get the packing uh, slip and we'll fulfill the order, man. It could be a shirt. It could be, let's say we got some uh, hyphy cartel uh, slides, you know, and we'll grab a few things and we'll put it together and get it. So yeah, this is basically high level behind the scenes of what goes on um, with making money, you know? And like I said, we got everything. We'll, we can go into details. We got part numbers, sizes, um, everything's uh, labeled and there's a rhyme and reason for everything that goes on here. It's not just bins filled up with clothes and we're searching around, you know? Everything is labeled and ready to go, man. So um, yeah, that, that's a big part of the brand, man, is being organized, um, having the people working for you be efficient and just uh, keeping the brand um, relevant, man coming out with new stuff non-stop you got to be relevant stay with the trends and uh just just continue to be creative and i think trent we got a big shipment right it's some clothes coming in yeah so we go check it out right now we'll go see what what uh merch dropped i think it's og stuff you're saying yeah. so i'll show you uh just a little bit how we go pick up orders bring them back and um yeah let's go so part of the business is if you're in the skateboard business, you gotta learn to manual. So I'm gonna see how far I can manual. Oh, I'm dropper, some OG styles. Let's fill it up. Graphic ink, coming from Graphic ink. Bunch of merch, bunch of merch. Guys wanna make money? Gotta invest in your brand. Right here, gotta have products to sell. You want to open it and show it? Yeah, we can open it. 
see what we got. Show you a couple of them. Is this one over? See what we got. Ooh, this is new. This is new right here. I don't even know if this one is. It's dope. Burgundy. Burgundy shirts. Hard. This one over here. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Oh, look at Robert. Look at Robert. Slicing the shirts. Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters on white. Hard, hard. Okay, okay, let's see this one. You gotta be careful, you know. Can't go that hard because you will slice your clothes. You will slice your merch. It happens. It will happen. Oh yeah. What are these, some tanks? Tank tops, OG tank tops. Hell yeah, so soap in the top three. I, I believe we got 16 boxes filled. So, um, so yeah guys, um, you guys wanna make money off YouTube, you guys gotta get the views, you guys gotta have the bomb content, and you gotta create value for your channel. So advertisements will go on it. Secondly, you know, you guys got to get some sponsorships, some ads, some sponsorship ads that come directly to you that will pay you directly to make sponsored ads on your channel. That's number two. And number three, if you guys are willing to risk it and put a lot of time and effort, create your own brand, man. Believe in your own brand. Um, live by your own brand and be organic, man. And uh, when you have your own brand, you can create and sell anything that uh that you guys believe in man it, I, you could sell you know salt and pepper shakers man if you guys are cooks and you guys love salt and pepper you know you guys can do whatever you want man as for me i love clothing i love merch i love workout gear and um lifestyle clothing and i love supplements man i work out so those are the two things i've created and we have a lot of other little different things that we sell as well man that um i like to use and and uh what i live by so hey i hope this helped out you guys how to get some money and how to create revenue off of YouTube. I appreciate you guys watching. Hey, and if you guys want the Strength Cartel merch and the supplements, get it at strengthcartel.com. Keep banging.